Hello students, today I want to continue with the chapter from the diary of Annie Frank which I left in the previous class. Now today we will cover the second part of the chapter. In the second part, Annie Frank starts writing Dearest Kitty. Why she says Dearest Kitty? Because Kitty is the name of her diary and she talks to the diary. She writes all her suppressed feelings, emotions, thoughts in the diary and she considers diary is her best friend. So she says, dear Esther Kitty, I continue. The whole class is quaking in its boots. Why quaking? Quaking means they all were in fact trembling with fear. They all were trembling with fear because it was the day of result and what the teacher will do? Teacher will decide who will go to the new next year class. That's why she says like that. And in the uh, last line of the first paragraph, she says, teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth. Unpredictable means you cannot make out, guess out before what the mood of the teacher will be. Means you can never predict, you can never know the mood of the teacher. And it is really true. Now what she says further. She says that I, all my friends and I, we all were very, very worried. Now what happens? The teacher no doubt comes and declares the result and tells everything all about. But teacher notices one negative thing in any Frank. Any Frank was very, very talkative. Because she was very talkative, teacher gets annoyed. Kissing annoyed. I have given the heading Kissing annoyed. In the second part, we find there are three important questions. Why Kissing was annoyed and how Annie justifies and further we discuss. So now first of all, Kissing annoyed. Kissing was annoyed means got very very, uh, you can say ill-tempered. Why Kissing was irritated? Because Annie Frank was very talkative. She talked too much in the class and she says, that Kissing is an old foggy teacher. Old foggy means like the teacher was old fashioned, might be very orthodox, who did not understand well all the students and might not be very friendly with the students. That's why she says like that. The teacher had given so many warnings. Teacher pele warning did that, fit punishment did that. The teacher had given a lot of warnings to any Frank that any Frank should be what? Should be quiet in the class or she should be disciplined. Any Frank listened? No, any Frank did not. She was given warnings but she did not listen. So what did the teacher do? Teacher gave punishment to any Frank. Teacher gave punishment to any Frank. To write down an essay on the topic a chatterbox. A chatterbox was the topic to write. So Annie was very smart. She had great presence of mind. She wrote in a very amusing manner, in a very interesting manner. What she writes is that she justifies that she is right in talking. How she justifies? Any justifies. Justifies means wo apna statement clear kar deti hai ki wo kyu itna bolti hai? That why she talks too much. She says that there is a necessity to talk. There is a necessity to talk like we say it is uh, you can say the, we have the right to expression. We have the right to freedom. So she thinks it is her right to to express herself. It is very necessary to talk and she says that talking is a student's trait. On page number 52, last line, any friend says talking is a student's trait. Trait means quality. quality Inherent quality as if of a student. And second reason that she says. Page number 53, first paragraph, she says that my mother talked very much, so I also talk. So it means what? It was an inherited trait. Inherited trait means uski mother bhi quality thi, usme bhi aage. This is what she is saying, right? Mr. Kee Singh, 
read that essay read kiya mr kissing laughed at any frank any frank again talked too much in the class because she was garrulous she was a chatterbox she was very very talkative immensely talkative she did not become quiet in the class kissing got more ill tempered kissing gave one more punishment and in the second punishment he said any frank to write an essay on an incorrigible chatterbox incorrigible the meaning is given you can check out it means that something that cannot be controlled that cannot be corrected which cannot be improved so she got one more homework to write and she really wrote that too in an amazing manner but any frank still did not be quite in the class she again talked and talked and talked too much mr kissing again very angry kissing gave third punishment now in the third punishment mr kissing said any frank to write an essay on quack 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 said mistress chatter box quack 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 sound of a beautiful duck quack 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 what amazing word that she got to write she thought oh it was interesting to write any friend this time took help of her friend sani the name is given you can find in the second last paragraph on page number 53 there is a girl named sani any friend took help of that friend because that friend was very good at writing verse v e r s e verse means good at writing poetry and mr kissing read that it was very interesting in that she wrote that there was one mother duck and there was a father duck also and there were so many children of mother duck and father duck those children called as ducklings those baby ducklings quacked a lot all the time and they were bitten to death by father because they talked too much but fortunately luckily mr kissing took the joke in a right manner he read that in a very ridiculous in a very funny manner to the class and all the students also roared with fun and laughter all the students in the class they were also laughing merrily and mr kissing was also at that moment in a very light hearted mood he was not very serious he was not very very angry at that time third time but mr kissing was not even any extra homework after that now what happened in the end i think any frank did not uh, correct herself any frank was still talking and talking and talking and mr kissing also started making jokes now was also light hearted teacher in the class so very interesting diary entry it was and very simple to if you really want to read the diary of any frank you should buy a book and read the entire narrative woeful tale of the school who really had heart rending experience dur during those tough times of second world war i hope all of you will reread it and try to improve your english thank you students